Hi guys. So today we are doing things a little differently, obviously. Um, I'm in my car instead of in front of my bookcase and I'm here with my best friend, Stephanie. Hello. All right, I do some book shopping today. Exciting. Um, so we're gonna go to a couple different stores, including my local bookstore, Bull Moose. They, um, they do like really good 50 cent book deals and stuff. So definitely gotta check out the bins there. Figured we might hit up Goodwill. Uh, the one we're gonna go to is pretty picked over because it's really big, so I don't know if we'll actually find anything, but it's worth checking out. Mm -hmm. um, and then I want to check out the bargain section at Books A Million. And then if we have time, I'd like to stop at Newbury Comics to check out some graphic novels and stuff. So uh, I figured we'd take you guys along. I'm excited to kind of break the format a little bit and do kind of more of like a vlog style. So yeah, uh, come along with us. Any Gretzuko stuff? <laughs> Adorable. So that one was kind of a bust. That's their more like popular location. So it was pretty busy today. It is a Saturday. So um, didn't find any like great deals there. I did get, um, I did find <laughs> Act Your Age Eve Brown, which is the third book in the Brown Sisters trilogy. Um, and I was looking for that. It's brand new, so I didn't get a good deal on it or anything. Um, but it was something that I wanted anyways. So we're going to go to two Goodwill next and hopefully we have a bit uh, better luck there. Hopefully. Stop number two. Yeah. Okay, sorry for not filming much in there. Um, that was a total bust. Yep. Uh, we were joking about making like a, a Goodwill bingo card because <laughs> there's always like 10 copies of the Fifty Shades of Grey series. We there's, found the whole series today though. Yep. Yeah, um, Extra points. <laughs> there's always some Dan Brown. There's always some Ken Follett. So um, you had your usual suspects, but I didn't really find anything sort of worth grabbing. Um, which is fine. I wasn't really expecting it to. Um, again, this Goodwill is really picked over and it's Saturday. So the book section itself wasn't even very full. So like the MTS, I've seen it. yeah, so we were only in there like five, 10 minutes anyways. So on to the next one. Um, do you want to do Newberry comics or books a million first? Let's do books a million first. Okay. Okay. So books a million next. Go check out the bargain section there. God, that's a really good price for this.
That's precious. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. How much is it? Oh my god, the little Tom Nook too. I don't know how much it is, but I don't need it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> little bit more luck at books a million uh not so much with the bargain section that one was yeah it was one though yeah stephanie found what is it the house of broken angels mm -hmm. sounds interesting um what else did you get i also am a big manga anime fan so i got one of the light novels with bleach which is super exciting because the anime is being um it's gonna start now mm -hmm. again so super exciting cool. it's my man <laughs> but that was my haul i recognize the line like in the 69 thing on his face but i don't he has a really recognizable face <laughs> yeah I'm, i haven't watched bleach in or read bleach in a million years i'm so excited um so i found well first i just want to whoop my microphone is sliding oh. thank you <laughs> um so i was admiring this as we were seeing and check out and stephanie bought it for me but it's luna from Sailor Moon and I wasn't gonna get it because it was like just a little bit more than I wanted to spend but Stephanie got her for me and look how cute she is look at those it's eyes it's really really cute oh my god so thank you so much Stephanie mm -hmm. um I also found uh a Conjuring of Light which is the third book in the Darker Shade of Magic series um I think I hope so okay <laughs> I haven't read it yet but I have the first and second books, and so now that I have all three, I'm a little bit more um, motivated to, to read it. So I'm excited about that. I found that for a pretty good price. Uh, books a Million also does, like, used books now. I think they used to have, like, a used bookstore called Second and Charles, but um, I think they fused the two. So I found The Mists of Avalon used for about eight bucks, which is cool because I was just talking – we were just talking about that this morning. Mm -hmm. um, and I've never read it before, but I like the King Arthur story, and this is sort of, like, a feminist lean on it. So – um, very excited about this find again for like $8. That was a good price. Mm -hmm. And then, um, also found, uh, where the sidewalk ends by Shel Silverstein. Uh, this is the 30th anniversary special edition. It was five fifty, and I love his poetry and his stories and his illustrations there. I grew up reading these. So very excited. Um, actually I think I grew up reading uh, light in the attic. I don't think I ever had where the sidewalk ends. So that was a cool find. So we're going to hit up one more store before the end of the day and that's Newberry Comics. Um, I'm gonna look at some like graphic novels and stuff. So almost done, I'm getting kind of tired now. Uh, um, we still have coffee, so cool. Wild Stephanie in her natural habitat. <laughs> they have a pretty good selection here. Yeah, this is a little bit better. But still, there aren't as many as there used to be. Hi, 
Hi. So it got too dark to do the last update in the car, mm -hmm. um, but we hit up Newberry Comics, and I actually got a pretty good haul there. They had a buy one, get one 50% off deal um, on manga and graphic novels, um, and I just finished WandaVision, so I've been kind of craving, like, uh, more Marvel stuff. Um, so I was talking to one of the employees, and he recommended um, the Strange Academy, this is just the, I think it's the only volume that's out right now is just this one. He says it's kind of like bringing back the X-Men vibes, but Doctor Strange is the headmaster. Um, so I'm really excited about this. It looks really cute. And then the other Marvel one I got was, or I got two more actually, <laughs> but the other like really maybe big one I got was Empire. And this is like a standalone event uh, graphic novel, he said, um, that follows, it's the Avengers and the Fantastic Four. And it follows Wiccan, who is uh, Scarlet Witch's child. And his husband, whose name I forget, Hulkling, who is not a Hulk at all. He's half, uh, he's half Skrull. Yes. He just kind of, he's green, so people call him a Hulkling. Um, so this one seems really cool. And the guy that I was talking to that works there said that, like, a lot of people think that people, or the next couple phases of Marvel are going to follow some of the events in these novels. So I've been wanting to get more into Marvel stuff lately, but like, it's such an intimidating... There's so much. There's yeah. so much. So, um, so I, it was nice to be able to talk to somebody who like, he was very knowledgeable about Marvel. So, um, thank you, Brock from mm -hmm. South Portland Newberry Comics. Um, and then I also found this in the bargain section, and it's a hardcover version of Thor, the Goddess of Thunder, um, especially where the next Thor movie is going to be, what was it, it's, um, Love and Thunder, Love and Thunder, like, oh, um, where, <laughs> no, it's fine, where Natalie Portman is going to be playing Hulk, or not Hulk, oh my god, where Natalie Portman's going to be playing, um, Thor, I thought this would be a cool one to pick up. And then Stephanie found uh, this last one, which I don't know how to pronounce the name. Okay. Orphicus. Um, but I saw the style and I had started Steven Universe, but I'm still very behind because I'm in school. And I thought of the style um, that it reminded me a lot of it. And I thought she looks, like, or this, really this like one it. looks a lot like Garnet, which uh, from Steven Universe. So, yeah, I can see where you. And it's standalone. So even more exciting. So, yeah, uh, that was an awesome deal. I'm glad they had that because that helped me save some money. Mm -hmm. But. That was that was our trip. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with us. Sorry, this mm -hmm. last update is a little like kind of. It was uh, a long day. <laughs> it was it was a long shopping day. It was kind of a bummer. The first two stops were sort of a bust. Yeah. Um, usually I have a lot more luck, especially at Bull Moose. Uh, but I think where it was a Saturday, it was just really busy and everything was really picked over. So. Good days and bad days. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and sticking, hanging out with us throughout this whole video. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.